Double Slit Experiment, brought to you by Plus Two Studios, Daniel Cormier and Jake Lord. You may be asking yourself every day, is light a wave, a particle, or both? Many scientists have been asking the same question. Thankfully, we've come here today to answer that question. Prior to the 19th century, the common view on this question was that light only has particle properties. In 1801, a physicist named Thomas Young challenged the common view by performing an experiment to prove that light also has wave properties. This influential experiment is known today as the double slit experiment. This experiment works by first sending plane waves into a divider with two slits cut in it. After the waves pass through the slits, they constructively and destructively interfere. This interference causes the interference patterns seen on the right. This interference can be simulated by energy waves in water. One telltale sign of a wave is if it interferes with another wave, it either adds up or cancels itself out. You can see this phenomenon highlighted by the blue circles. To determine if a wave cancels or adds at a given point, we need to determine the phase difference of the two waves at the point using the equation delta phi equals 2 pi times delta x divided by lambda. How is this phase difference equation relevant, you ask? By using the following equations, we can determine constructive interference, which is where the waves add up, and destructive interference, which is where the waves cancel out. M is an integer gotten by the constant of energy used. To answer the question we posed at the beginning of the video, light exhibits behaviors of both particle and a wave. This is explained by the concept of wave-particle duality, but to understand the bigger picture, we have to discuss quantum physics. As far as quantum physics is concerned, light is whatever you are observing for. If you are observing for particles, then you will find particle properties. Likewise, if you are observing for waves, you will find wave properties. This means that light is potentially both, but actually one or the other. 